Hello friends, my name is Renai and welcome to We Happy Few. Now you may notice that I do not have a camera on me. The camera was making it much too hard to actually record. My CPU couldn't take it along with the game. Um, though well, now I'm still trying to look at the camera to record. Um, but anyways. Um, I already recorded the first part of this game. It, it's just the little part with the first character in the newsroom that you play in the demo. But, um... I deleted it so you guys could see. You won't get my initial reaction, but uh, you will see kind of what is going on in this ridiculous ass game. Um, so now we're recording, or now we're playing Act 1 with Arthur. Um, I'm going to be making the exact same choices I made last time. Um, I can't do everything exactly the same because I did spend a little bit of time just walking around looking at shit. But, yeah. Um. So. Hey. How are you today? Uh, it's weird not having a camera anymore. I keep finding myself looking up at the place where the camera is supposed to go. But it's not there. And it's weird. There is no camera. Do, 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 do. Press spacebar to continue. Okay, so we start at this little redactor thing, and we are Arthur. And his job is to approve or censor newspapers. Um, oh, heavens no. He censors it. Um, so I get the option to approve or deny some newspapers, but um, oh yeah, story. Oh, God. Okay, now I get the option to either take the joy or remember what happened. Um, since I'm doing this, I keep looking for the camera. Since I'm doing this exactly the same as I did last time, I am going to remember. Percy! Percy! I don't, I don't think you should suppress memories of something that happened to you. I think you should learn to live with them and work through them. And that'll help you move on in life because what it's have just... You been up oh. to? No one's seen you for hours. Oh, nose to the grindstone, you know. Then why haven't I heard a single whoosh through the door since 10 o'clock? Did you forget we're having Deirdre's birthday party? Oh. We've got a pinata. Right. Pinata. Brilliant. Oh. Have you forgotten your job? <laughs> of course not. Snug as a bug on a drug. Well, come on then, finish up. Uh, just have a few more pages. I, I, I know you're very busy. Then don't take too long to finish. Terrifying. Aha! The power cell's empty. Well, what will you do? All right. I'll get a new one. So there's nothing in any of these cabinets, so I am not going to bother with any of them. I used real butter in Deirdre's cake, and that was the last of it. And I'm going to accept this document. My reasoning is I... There is now a curfew in effect at night. Any civilian on the street... What are we going to do, Arthur? We're brothers. We'll look out for each other. That's what we'll do. My... Reasoning is that I don't think news should be hidden from That's people. That's a path we can remember safely. Well, I expect you in the conference room presently. Don't dawdle. You don't want to miss the pinata. Um, 
Wasn't Prudence supposed to be coming back today? I made her a welcome back card. No, thank you. Anyways, I was saying I don't think um, news should be hidden from the general public no matter how good or bad it is. People should have the right to choose uh, whether or not they see something or if they want to hear something. Uh, I don't think anyone should censor or deny anything for anybody else but themselves. Um, yep. That's right. So, yeah. All these, uh, that newspaper is basically about how um, this new drug makes everything better, which is basically what's happening. I'm eating chocolate. All right. Stand up. I can crouch with C. And one, and two, and one, and three, and one, and four. That's how you count, right? Nineteen sixty-four. Do you think the canister wonders what life's like outside the tube? Of course, he'd have to break the tube to get out. Well, that would break it for everybody. All right. So this door is locked, which I don't have a lock pick, but I can go in here. Clive. Earth whistle. You're off at a party, aren't you? Alright. Let us read this letter. <coughs> <clears throat> oh, look, Mrs. Bing has written Cry Clive a letter. Dear Mr. Boat Whistle, it is so thoughtful of you to suggest how best to rearrange the department. I am always grateful for suggestions from junior staff of how best to do my job as director. However, I am afraid that it would be disestablishing to swap your office with that of Mr. Hastings. Fortunately, turnover in this department is high. Go away. I'll get off my screen. If Prue doesn't return soon, I don't see why you couldn't have her office. In the meantime, I suggest you pop another joy. You'll feel the sunshine on your face whether you have a window or not. All the best, Victoria Bing, director. Take that, Clive, you little shit. Okay, and statistics, and that's all I can do right now. Uh, I can't look at any of this, but I can close the door. And then, boop. Okay. I can read this graph of paper. <coughs> and here's a letter in what I'm almost positive is Clyde's terrible handwriting. <coughs> Dear Director Bing, one of your employees is a subversive and may even be a downer. I overheard him in the commissary, commissary telling a friend that he thinks his job redacting old articles is silly. Then what's so scary about the truth? He's a very tall and slim, with black hair and brown eyes. And glasses. I know I should have asked his name, but I'm a naturally shy woman, and... And that's where it leaves off. A shy woman, are you, Clive? Or is that just a nasty, manipulative schemer? That little shit. He wants my view. Yep. Well, let's see what Miss Bing thinks of you work now, Clive. <laughs> Approve everything. Didn't matter what it is. Send it to the general public. Mm -hmm. Hmm, I forgot to go approve the other documents in my office. I think not. And I didn't uh, take the power thing either like I did last time. I'll have to go back and do that before I forget. I am just eating all of my chocolate. Jesus. And boop. Mm. That's a rather inconvenient bit of history. Well, who has a clock that only tells the date? That's so strange. Get up. I can't look at your joy, so let's just leave. Oh, I guess I don't have canisters. No canister, okay. I didn't try that last time, so I wasn't sure. Did I take the canister out of this one? Yes, I did. I'm taking all your damn canisters. 
Nobody shall hide the truth from anybody anymore. Whatever happened to you, Prudence? It's a little scary for a little bit. Look at the look at the look at the joy. Are you off your joy, Pro? I mean, you too. All right. I'm gonna take empty cell, place power cell, use reactor. like crew and a family member her daughter or something your baby's weight and tripe free eat tripe restaurant did you know that tripe is the perfect food for your baby it contains all the essential your baby to your local butchers and your baby to your local butchers and will give you your baby's weight and tripe what Yes, make your baby super fat so you can get tons of free tripe. Yes. That's true. A bubble and then a drink. Uh, proof? And approve. Come on, prove. Breeder riot? One man, Randolph Randolph Alderley, and three unnamed women <coughs> were arrested in what police are calling another breeder riot Sunday night. The victim, Mrs. Ann McCutcheon, appears to be in stable condition as her husband, Mr. Cyril McCutcheon. There is no word yet on the condition of her baby. His birth was not expected for another two months. Uh, the arrested officer, P uh, PC John Constable, stated, It's dangerous for women who are in a family to strut their condition about. Frankly, it sets people off when decent folk are doing the level best to forget. I'm sorry, what? I should be reading all of these newspapers. Okay, let's take your power cell and get the hell out of here. All right. Terrifying. Oh, yeah. Also, I can sit and I can look at newspapers so people don't see me. Cool, right? All right, let's go. We seem to be a bit behind in our work now that you mention it. There is nothing in any of these shelves. And he is the most terrifying thing I've ever fucking seen. He's being projected onto the damn building. Is that a broken, it's a broken tube. Wait a minute, can I fix this? Is that a thing I can do? Can I get a thing to fix this? I don't think I can. I don't know. All right, let's do this. There you are. You nearly missed the pinata. Uh, it's the most adorable Spanish custom. Uncle Jack did a whole show about it. You smash it until all the sweets come out. It's so squishy, though. Come on, hit it. Hit it's it. It's squishy. Hit it. Can I not, though? Come on. Can, can I? Can come I not? On. Uh, I don't want to do this again. Uh. I really did not want to do that again. You are off 
your joy. Take one of mine. Oh my lord. He's a down uh. Call security. We've got a down. Can we not do this again though? I mean, obviously for you guys. Of course not. <laughs> I don't want to take my goddamn joy. Probably a bad time to ask for that raise. Shit. Run! Run, Arthur, run! Smell gas. Blame him, Nora. Forget it. There's no time. Okay. And that is officially where I finished the last one. Um, or I mean, I guess the first one. The only bit of this game that I have played that is what I have finished. So, I guess I'm gonna leave that episode there? Question mark. Um, since my video actually recorded this time. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next episode of whatever I decide to make. Good night, signing out. Bye!